Alright you guys, so we're back with uh, talking about Sean Bell and um, my camera is really stupid so this is going to be video number two right now and um, so his estate got three, three plus million dollars, the next person got three million and the other person got almost a million dollars and um, I just feel as though that, that I'm happy that they got the money. Um, but I still want to bring back Sean and um, his wife is really his family is suffering from what their loss. And the thing that disgusts me the most is the fact that the cops involved, one of them injured their legs, their leg or their back, or whatever, and they're suing his estate. And to me, it's like, how can you decide that you're going to sue because what you did was even worse than what he did to you? He supposedly. Because I was reading the um, articles about what happened that night, uh -huh. and it just all of it just doesn't add up. Or the stories and the, what the cops say and what they say all don't mesh well together. And what the cops say doesn't add up to each one of the stories that I have read. So it's almost like, did you really hit the cop? I'm not too certain of what happened that night. I wasn't there, obviously. But um, or had the cops to press charges against him and his family it's like how can you do that when what you did to him is far worse you took his life so how do you feel about that I fucking hate cops I think that um, that's karma that he injured himself okay you know what it disgusts me so much that they would even think about suing his estate Look at what you've done to his what family. What you did to his look family at what is... You, look at... He's... He's six feet under. Okay? He cannot, you know, say, Oh, yes, you know, I don't want him to sue my estate or whatever because he can't speak for himself, you know? And it's like, they're twisting the story and making him seem like the bad guy when it's really not the case. And I don't really want to talk about it because it really pisses me off and it angers me. I don't want to say anything like, you know, threatening or anything for the cops, but it's just... It pisses me off. They're stupid and they're pricks. And what also makes me upset is I was looking at different um, postings online underneath comments what people had to say about it. They were saying that, oh, well, he was a bad guy, this, that, and the third, so he deserves to die or whatever. But Talking about Sean Bell? Yes, because he has a record. What he did in the past has nothing, nothing to, to do, do with that night. Nothing. It, the punishment does not fit the crime. I don't care if he raw rape, did this, that, and the third. He was not punished for that stuff that night. He was punished for um, for what they thought he had a weapon on him, which he did not. They did not find a gun on him. So it's like, how can you say, well, how are we going to honor this man who did this, who had drugs and blah, 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 who blah, 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 whatever he did in the past. His record was not the reason why he got shot that night. He got shot that night because... His blood. Yeah. Well. And, no. Point blank period, okay? Oh, okay. They're racist. They're racist. But, and also, the thing is, the cops wanted to shut down that club that he was at. So, they just wanted to get one. They had a one more arrest to be able to say, we could shut this place down. So, it was almost like they were trying to find a reason to get someone locked up. And once they thought that he had a gun. Did you hear about that guy? black and he's at the hospital and his mother-in-law was dying on her deathbed did you, did, you, did you hear about that i heard about a couple of different stuff about that but i'm not too sure it's a, while, it's a little while ago his mother-in-law on his deathbed the cops pulled him over would not let him go upstairs to see his mother that was dying and she passed away and he did not get up to see that happened to a football player or yes. something. Yeah, does that that? Yes. Yeah. Can you believe that? Because he was speeding. If he was Caucasian, I'm sorry. I don't care what people say about this video. If he was white, he would have been able to go upstairs and go see his mother-in-law. That, that, that's it. Point blank, period. Because of his color, okay, fuck the speeding. If he was speeding, fine. I would, you know, he said, write me a ticket. You know, do what you have to do. I but understand. they kept holding him he back. They kept holding him back. Like, he offered to follow him upstairs. He offered to go upstairs with him, you know, to see his, you know, and it, mm -hmm. it, it's just horrible. 
Um, we're just gonna get off of that topic because to it's, it's such a sensitive topic. This race thing, we don't want to get into that right now. Um, but another thing that is about race actually is um, <laughs> the Essence magazine has a white fashion editor. To me, I didn't really see a big deal about it. It was like whatever. It's not like it's run this down, run by a white company. But when you think about it, it's like there's this white woman that took a job that could have went to a black person. And when I was watching the Scorpions video, Scorpion video, Mikel made this good comp point that if you go to Vanity Fair or any of the top fashion magazines that are predominantly white. They're not going to have a black fashion editor, they're not going to have a black editor, more, more likely they're not going to have a black editor. So it's like something that's for black women, something that's for black in general is now getting taken away and given to a white person. So how do you feel about that? Um, no comment. I, don't, I, don't, I think every time I, every time I specifically about race, it, it's going to be offensive. As a black female, it's like you are not even able to have what another black person, it's a white person inside what they think, whereas different to a black person what they know as far as the fashion or what they want to wear in the magazine. All I have to say is, if this is, a, if this is supposed to be a black magazine and she's a white woman, she, her style, more than likely nine times out of ten, is completely different. Mm -hmm. from a black woman's style, okay? How is she to comment on her, like, her taste and style or whatever when the the audience for this magazine is predominantly black, you know? Mm -hmm. I think uh, it's bad for business, and I don't think it was a smart choice at all. Well, um, there you have it. This is part two of a three-part video that we're going to make. And uh, make sure you rate, subscribe, leave a comment, click the thumbs up, and um, just subscribe. If you watch this much of the video, hey, you might as well just become a fan of ours. Or a supporter, I'd rather say. I don't want to have fans. We're not fans. I don't like fans. Um, they become stalkers, and that's not cool. No. <laughs> <laughs>